Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of English. In this video, we are going to see the phrasal verbs using take. Example, take off, take in, take on, take up, take over. All those things we are going to see its meaning and sentence as well. So if you are new here, I would like you to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like if you like this content and share it with your friends. Also, you can find contents from maths, computer science and English of NIOS senior secondary course. Let's start. So the first one that we are going to see is take off. Its meaning is to remove something or uh, usually for a for an aeroplane or to leave the ground. Okay, that is taking air, aeroplane or airplane takes off. Next, the sentence for this would be, please take off your shoes before entering the house. Next example is take on okay so next uh, phrasal verb is take on its meaning is to accept something or accept a responsibility or a challenge okay the sentence would be she decided to take on the project even though it was a lot of work next one is take up it is to start a new hobby or activity its sentence would be he took up painting as a way to relax okay so next one is take over the meaning of take over is to assume the control or responsibility for something when the manager retired she took over the team okay so that is take over next one is take after its meaning is to resemble a family member in appearance or behavior she really takes after her mother with her art artistic talent that is a sentence next one is take in take in means to understand or absorb some information to allow somebody somebody to stay temporarily so it was hard to take in all the information during the meeting okay take down it is to remove something from a high place or to write down any information Sentences, please take down the notes I am sharing during the presentation. So that is how take down is used. Take apart, its meaning is to disassemble something. So he took apart the old clock to see how it worked. Next one is take back, it is to retract a statement or to return an item. Okay, I had to take back what I said, it was inappropriate so the word is take back next one is take for granted it, its meaning is to underestimate the value of something or someone sentence is we often take our health for granted okay this is how it is used take our health for granted you can see here take then comes for granted okay take our health for granted until we face a problem so this is how the phrasal verbs with different forms are used okay meaning sentences are also available please check it out try to make your own sentences so you get more command over this phrasal verbs we are going to see an exercise of filling the blanks where you are going to use these phrasal verbs of take okay so first one is before entering the house please take off your shoes the word is take off excited to blank the new project at work that is she was um, excited to take on the responsibility okay i want to blank yoga to improve my flexibility that is the word is take up or the phrase is take up when the ceo retired he was ready to take over the company it was um, difficult to blank all the information during the lecture it is take in next one is uh, he really blank his father in terms of his sense of humor that is take after okay next is can you please blank the notes while i speak take down the notes okay he decided to blank the computer to upgrade its part that is take apart next one is i need to blank this dress because it doesn't fit i need to blank this dress because it doesn't fit so it would be take back 
we often blank our friendships until we lose until we lose them it is take for granted okay these are the phrasal verbs of take that we have used in the sentences hope this is understandable let's move on to next exercise where you can solve it to have better understanding of these phrasal verbs rewrite the sentences okay you can see write a sentence using take off in the context of a near plane so you can use this create a sentence about someone accepting a new responsibility take on describe a hobby you would like to take up so it is using take up write about a time when someone took over a task or a position so that is take over share an observation about someone in your family you take after that is you look similar to somebody so you can share an observation about that explain how you felt during a difficult learning experience to learn something or to grasp something write a sentence about taking down information during a meeting so it would be the word would be um, the phrase would be take down describe a situation where you took something apart to fix it okay next one is write about an apology that you had to take back something you said where you had to take back something you said use the phrase verb take back next is take for granted it is to reflect on something you might take for granted in your life so these are the situations where you can use these phrasal verbs do try it out it will be more helpful to understand these phrasal verbs better so if you like this video please don't forget to give it a like share it with your friends and do subscribe to the channel 